Hey tribe, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the Pure, the Black, and the Magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. So happy 2 22 to you guys. All right. Perfect day for manifestation. Twos are representation of duality, balance, okay? Um, harmony, partnerships, alliances, also choices and decisions, okay? So let's just see what's manifesting um, for you guys today or what are you working on manifesting in your life, what's to come. We have the truth card that popped out here, okay? So some of you guys are gaining some sort of truth or clarity in regards to a specific situation. Um, in your life, you're also facing your truth or living in your truth here as well being very truthful with yourself um if there's anything that you have had like rose colored glasses on with or if you were in denial there's some sort of clarity um there's something that is no longer can no longer be denied that is um surfacing for you guys today we also have purity here too so it's a lot of cleansing energy all right so you can be cleansing for sure cleansing your um your space your physical space your mental space your house saging taking soft baths um, highly recommended here taking risks as well okay voyage so the energy i was picking up on before starting is adventure um a lot of spontaneous energy a lot of taking risk a lot of having fun the first song i got for you guys is wild side by normani um and i feel like that's the energy that you are in a lot of y'all are just i'm hearing out with the old and with the new like you are wanting new energy you're attracting new energy you're attracting abundant energy um into your life okay solitude it's very possible you've been in solitude for a while now maybe hermit mode um but it's something about what's about to take place is putting you at the forefront okay Okay, or it's putting you in a spotlight or the limelight. Um, another intuitive message I was getting was it's up. Okay, so that could be you, like your position is up or your time is now or something about karma or the will of fortune. I feel like you're up now. Okay, and that would mean that um, for some of you guys in a specific situation, maybe you were taken advantage of. Um, but it's like you're getting the recognition now. Now it's your time. And for someone else, it might be the opposite. Okay. Um, but yeah, a lot of adventures, a lot of traveling energy. The second song I got was Do Do You Ever by Tone Stiff. Okay. Um, now in terms of like connections and relationships, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be old friendships, partnerships, whatever it is. I feel like someone is wondering, do you ever think about them? Like, do, do you ever reconsider? Um, would you ever reconsider going back to something? Or they're wondering if there's still some sort of space that they hold in your heart or in your mind, okay? Um, and honestly, I feel like a lot of you guys have released whatever, whoever that energy is for you. So let's see. Let's go ahead and tap into the energy, you guys. Please go ahead and like the video, comment, I comment back, share, and of course, subscribe. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more it actually puts your energy into these messages and I can better pick up on what's going on with you so for the collective spirit what is the energy the energy we're coming into with this 2 22 all right timing this date spirit what is the energy what are we manifesting all right for the collective i'm seeing abundance here for sure yeah abundance at the bottom of the deck love that's another thing so a lot of you guys are whatever it is you've been manifesting for a lot of y'all it's been love okay or some sort of partnership companionship and it's been finances and i feel like that's exactly what's coming in for you guys um for a lot of y'all it's two different things like two different offers that are coming in for you as well security is what you are manifesting whether this be financial security home security um just stability and security in your life i feel like whatever is about to happen is going to put you in a position to feel very safe so if this is a relationship you will feel you will feel very safe if this is a switch in career finances um you will feel very safe i feel like you are protected here okay so someone or something that's manifesting in your life is going to make you feel very protected very warm also here um i'm here resourceful okay we have transformation so you are transforming here. It's a lot that's transforming in your life. Maybe there was a lack of security or stability, okay, in the past here, but that's changing with this transformation card. What else, spirit? That's changing. We got change, 
okay? It's a lot of emphasis on traveling, whether this is physically or energetically. I feel like um, most of the collective has been in solitude, either by choice or by force, okay? Maybe you've been down on your luck. Maybe you've just been um, stuck between a rock and a hard place here, but transformation is happening. Emphasis on the springtime, okay? So going into March and April, I feel like a lot of you guys will see whatever it is you've been waiting on to um, transform in your life, whatever blockage you've been praying to be removed, whatever delays you've been experiencing, I feel like March, almost as soon as March gets here, March 1st, you'll see a change of events, okay? Um, in your favor. And honestly, a lot of you guys might be seeing it today, even before the first of the month gets here, okay? At the bottom, we have pleasure. So whatever is coming in for you is bringing a lot of pleasure, is bringing a lot of relaxation here. Forgiveness, I feel like this is exactly what you've been working on. There's been a lot of shadow work, okay, over the winter months. Um, and something about the springtime, you guys are ready to sprout and to blossom. We also have patience. You've been very patient. And now the action is about to come. Now the action is about to come. What is the action bringing? Blessings, happiness, and what did I say from the get-go? Adventures, okay? So great energy to start off with. Let's see if we can get a little bit more details for you guys. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, check out the description box below in regards to finding the details for that. Um, expectations. Y'all expecting something. So this is the Kipper deck. We got expectations here. We also have adjudication here. Okay. And we have occupation. If you have been expecting a change in your work, your finances, your business here, I feel like y'all have been again in solitude and hermit mode, putting in a lot of work, either work on yourself, your mental, your physical, spiritual, emotional, financial, um, work on yourself here. And it's like, you expect, you're expecting something, whatever it is you're expecting here. I feel like it's in your favor. Message. Look at this. So we got the expectations, adjudication. This is the judgment that's being called on your life here in regards to all the hard work, occupation you've been putting in. Okay, this could again be in regards to work, but this message is coming in here. What is the message bringing? It's bringing great fortune. The number seven can be significant. Also, the number 26. Something about the 26th of this month is going to bring you great fortune here. Okay, it's putting you in a higher position. We got official person. And look at this. I just said this. High honor for what? All of your hard work, all of your toil and labor here. We have house. Okay, this could be a home or some sort of stability here. Unexpected income. I can't make this shit up, y'all. Look, sudden wealth. After a period of being down and out, okay, a lot of y'all experience poverty, um, but it's because of it's like spiritual poverty or energetic poverty. It's because of people that were in your environment, okay? This thief or thieves, imprisonment, somebody or multiple people was holding you back. Maybe you guys lost out um, on something because of your kindness, trying to help someone out here. I feel like you were drained. You were depleted, whether this is your energy or your finances or your hope, whatever it is. But I feel like it's for sure being restored here, okay? The number 11 could be significant, all right? That's also breaking down to the number two. All right, Spirit, so what's to come for the collective? What's to come for the collective with this 222-22 energy? What's going on? What's manifesting out of this? Give me a storyline, Spirit, for the collective. Anything we need to know? Clarity, confirmation, courtship. What did I say? Two. All right, duality, a partnership. This is love for a lot of you guys. And if it's not love, okay, it's some sort of partnership here. Occupation, it's work. For a lot of y'all, it's money. Y'all are manifesting whatever courtship, partnership in regards to work here. So clients, okay, um, or there's just something better, a better position, a better job. We have this gift is being gifted to you. Okay, main male, official person. Yeah, whether you're masculine watching this or feminine acting out of the masculine energy here, change, pathway. Y'all created this change. Look at this. Unexpected income. All the hard work is paying off here. Okay, so this is the shift. Today is the beginning of a shift. All right journey could be traveling some of y'all could be traveling for work i keep getting uh adventures okay or you could be planning a trip with a lover here okay imprisonment let's see spirit messages for the collective with this 222 energy messages for the collective what's coming in what is being manifested here any confirmations all right let's see spirit all right so <laughs> 
expectation look at this it's card number 28 which breaks down to a 10 10s are completion so again i'm hearing it's up or time is up okay but in a good way so sometime you've spent waiting on something or someone or whatever to change and transform in your life it's up it's like you can almost see it you can see it coming it's closer than you guys think here because i feel like with just her sitting in this window um something is just very soon to arrive some of y'all could be waiting on some sort of package as well but this is something that's arriving in your life for the better this message is right behind that a lot of y'all are waiting to hear something an approval someone to get back to you okay um or if you're not whatever it is you're expecting it's kind of come in a form of some sort of message an email or something like that or a letter okay um let's see coffin card this is the energy of death and rebirth okay transformation for some of you a scorpio could be significant as well could the message could be coming from a scorpio toil and labor okay but again it's a heavy emphasis on all the hard work you have been putting in here okay being diligent being prayerful being faithful occupation y'all been hard at work okay you could have um earth in your chart virgo taurus capricorn um any earth sign specifically virgo though because they're known to be the workers of the zodiac here okay or virgo could be significant to you um or to whatever this is that's about to transform into your life we have courtship here so y'all been waiting i'm picking up on a lot of love y'all been waiting on new love okay so with the songs that i got earlier it's kind of like you are just free um you could be exploring your options you could be dating having fun okay um or someone very free spirited is entering into your life here although there is um the past energy that's still trying to hold on to you i don't feel like you're trying to hold on to it to it though mature man yeah mature man is coming in with this message and for you know those who prefer feminine this is a mature woman that's coming in here what else spirit community okay with the coffin card there's a change in your environment a lot of y'all could be moving or changing jobs or there's something about your home life or your daily activities that's shifting here okay somebody is also bringing a sense of community and support that is the change it's like somebody is showing up in your life okay whether it be romantic or not a business partnership a friend or not whoever this is is showing up and they are fully supportive of who you are and what you're trying to do okay the dreams and the goals that you have whatever it is that you're trying to achieve official person yeah and toilet labor it's an upgrade that's what it is that's why i'm hearing this up this is an upgrade okay i do feel like your life is upgrading but it's also like something or someone coming in that is going to help elevate you upgrade you instead of draining you with that poverty energy instead of, instead of um stealing from you with the thief energy stealing your time wasting your time your money your resources it's almost like a reward so you experience the lower side of the wheel of fortune okay and because you handled it the way that you handle it handled it because you took this coffin card right this death energy whatever ended here whatever depleted you and you stay focused on the goal with toilet labor, okay? Putting in the hard work with occupation. Here's your reward. Toil and labor official person. Now you are the official person, okay? So there's some sort of reward coming through for you guys for sure, okay? It's giving star card energy, gift energy here, okay? Divinely um, guided type of connections that are coming into your life. And then we have concern, all right? I do feel as if someone is concerned though. Maybe you're keeping quiet from someone, um, but someone's just concerned about you getting away. Um, and if this isn't anyone else, this is just you. You've been very concerned, very worried um, about something playing out for you. The number 33 could be significant, but it is going to play out in your favor. We have high honor at the bottom of the deck here. Okay. And behind that, we have despair. So what did I say? It's something about the duality of it's up for you, but possibly for someone else okay for whoever's resonating with this part of the reading is not so if you were taken advantage of in any particular situation if you felt like someone got away with something wronging you if they felt like they got away with it it's up like anything goes at this point all right and we have distance arising unexpected income here yeah and even with the unexpected income we have poverty so while you're on the upper end there is someone else on the lower end okay wealthy man could have been someone that was very um arrogant or someone who thought they were like a know-it-all someone whose character just wasn't um they lacked moral and values here okay could have been dealing um higher fit energy could have been dealing with a um with a Taurus, okay so let's see spirit what else four of wands 
no matter how much I try to make it general, it is partnerships, alliances, relationships, okay, commitment, contracts all over this energy. Four of Wands is a marriage, a serious relationship, a contract, a home here, okay, 1111, right? Two is showing up here, Queen of Cups, King of Pentacles, okay, water sign, also earth sign here. All right, so let's see, Nine of Swords with the Three of Cups. I keep getting the message of some sort of... Um, Something that has been troubling you or worrying you, okay? Even if you haven't been so worried about it as of late, as of recently, at one point in time, this energy really had you down and out. Yeah, hangman energy really had you in your head, okay? Not wanting to um, move forward. Spirit is guiding you out of a dark situation here. I just saw the Eight of Swords and the Devil. Yeah, very toxic situation. Something or someone that had you trapped in your head here. Okay, there's been a lot of healing with the Hermit card. What's manifesting for the Collective Spirit? For all the hard work, what's manifesting? Ace of Swords. This is the truth. That was the first card that came out. Truth, clarity, also a breakthrough. Look at what's at the bottom. The sun card here. Yeah, victory is yours. King of Wands. Somebody is also seeing you as very attractive as well. I feel like this could be someone who has a lot of a lot of options. Like they don't, they're not interested in all of the options that they have, though. This could be someone who's very popular or just gets a lot of attention. Okay, the ideal partner. Or, or you are, but I feel like um, whoever this is, is coming in alignment with you, you, them, vice versa. All right, spirit. Could be a fire sign for some of you guys. What messages do we have for the collective? What messages do we have for the collective? What's manifesting with this 222-22 energy? All right, nine of swords here and the four of wands okay defensiveness i feel like there's no reason for you guys to be defensive though that's what that security is coming in because this nine of wands is wounded warrior energy so obviously you've been through a lot in your life in a relationship whatever this is for you but this is that clarity okay this is that companionship that's coming in here seven of cups four of swords and the king of wands again so whether this is feminine or masculine coming in this is someone who is coming in that's going to make you feel very safe and secure who's going to understand that um what you've been through with this nine of wands energy here ace of pentacles okay there's definitely a reward here lover's card could be dealing with the gemini spirit what messages do we have for the collective with this 222 energy manifesting happiness we got the magician with the three of cups that popped over here a couple of more shuffles we also have the victory card six of wands knight of swords okay something spirit is definitely leading you to some sort of successful situation or leading someone to you because i feel like you guys have done all the hard work so whatever this abundance is whatever this financial gain is this love relationship whatever this um this approval this home whatever it is for you lover's card is being led to you all this two energy right all this partnership type of energy all this all this two energy look at this all right um so it's i feel like yeah i was just about to say that it's being led to you y'all don't have to do a thing look at this queen of cups just sitting back waiting just sit back and wait is the message all right sit back and wait is the message whether you're sitting back and waiting on some sort of truth clarity for something to hit the fan okay this devil card here sitting back waiting for someone to get their karma in which case you should not ever really sit back and wait okay because it's gonna happen but a lot of y'all what this two of wands whatever it is it's about to happen you're moving out of this two of wands energy all right all right or someone else is moving out of this two of wands energy to approach you so take it however you see fit messages for the collective spirit what's coming in with this energy of today messages for the collective all right so let's see very high vibing energy today y'all so let's see knight of wands is the first card out um i keep getting out with the old and with the new or something for some of you guys this is somebody that ran out on you okay or somebody that was very um iffy very flaky type of energy that you could have been dealing with friend family member whatever this whatever this old situation was but like somebody ran out on you but it was actually a blessing for you okay so let's see ten of pentacles it was actually a blessing for you i feel like you are the ten of pentacles okay you the you are the ideal everything and somebody was dumb enough to go the other way so let's see how this is playing out here seven of pentacles you didn't let it bother you though okay or even if it did get to you it didn't completely knock you off all right seven of pentacles is you continue to nurturing to continue to nurture yourself i feel like you brought everything to the table in a situation with someone in the past um, and they took from you because you went from the Ten of Pentacles to the Seven of Pentacles, okay? But they didn't break you, all right? They didn't stop you. 
Ooh, look at the comeback. Look at this Ace of Pentacles. You were already the Ten of Pentacles by yourself. You got knocked down. It didn't stop you. Seven of Pentacles. And this is the comeback. This is the comeback. The Ace of Pentacles. A lot of y'all are waiting to unleash something here. A business project. Something maybe on social media. Or maybe you've just been working on yourself. Your health. There's something that you are about to um, unleash. Or you're working on unleashing. Okay. Or this opportunity is coming to you. That was the comeback. What else, Spirit? And look, the lover's card, whether it's actual romantic relationship or some sort of partnership, I feel like you guys have been making good choices, okay? Maybe you um, let something die out. You didn't chase after a situation. You just let go of some sort of instability in your life, okay? Situation or a person. Or even if this was you versus yourself here, but there's a union that's coming in. This opportunity is perfectly aligned for you, all right? Queen of Swords. Yeah, this is what you did. Queen of Swords. Could be um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius having a chart. But I feel like you were just, um, I feel like you cut out this energy, whether it was before or after this person ran out on you or ghosted you, it was before or after like whatever this was created this instability here, you were okay with letting it go. You set some sort of boundaries, okay? Something here was the final straw. You probably had to really get fed up with something or someone. It did drain you, but a lot of y'all learned the lesson. You learned the lesson, and that's why this Ace of Pentacles is coming in for you. That's why this reward is coming in for you guys. The Magician, yeah, and you back up because the Magician is with the Ten of Pentacles. So you're back to this Ten of Pentacles. You're back to this Ace of Pentacles here. A lot of y'all, it's money. It's money, it's stability, it's security that you are manifesting here. Like, whatever it is you cut out of your life, whether it was you versus is you someone else versus you whatever this knight of wands flighty energy was low vibrational energy was here you recognized it for what it was you cut it out of your life and now you're manifesting this abundance what else the emperor card here okay yeah this is very boss mentality energy you could be an aries or a taurus um but this is you pouring into your craft pouring into yourself pouring into your confidence realizing you had some sort of power here you being your own boss okay what else five of pentacles okay ace of pentacles five of pentacles some of y'all could have um what's this last card Ooh, ooh, two of cups some of y'all could have like this aries or this taurus or this emperor energy person in your environment a father figure maybe somebody who's egotistical um I do see somebody trying to come back around and guilt trip you or somebody like wants you to save them or they see you as this ace of pentacles. Okay. So you are that they see you as having this abundance, this money, this, whatever this is. And I feel like someone could be coming back expecting you to save them or take them back or take them in or move back in or something like that. Um, somebody's trying to recreate this connection, but again, you have a higher calling. You have a better offer that is here. You got the two of cups. You're ending with two, the two of cups, and you're ending with two standing here, the lovers, okay? So this 22 energy, this 2, 22, 22 energy is definitely showing up. Look what's at the bottom of the damn deck. Look at this. The four of wands. Commitment. Again, signing contracts, getting into serious relationships, possibly getting married, getting a home here. Um, whatever this is you made a wish on, this is the 11-11 card. Emphasis on twos. The twos are all over this. Look at the two wands on one side, the two wands on the other side. This is security. Securing a bag, the eight of pentacles. Okay, securing a commitment. You got the higher fan. Look at this. All right, you learned your lesson also, your spiritual lessons here. And then you have the King of Pentacles. It's money written all over this. The Knight of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. I feel like you already passed the test, but there is still someone who is who wants to see. Someone is still in your energy wanting to test you um, or someone's not getting, um, getting a hint, catching a hint. Like someone definitely is in regret wanted to come back here but that's not y'all's issue i really don't feel like you're worried about it okay so let's see final messages spirit for the collective what final messages do you have in regards to this 2 22 energy final messages spirit the sacred lotus so it says compassion and action the chosen tool i see now the lotus in your spirit's jewel so someone is definitely now seeing you for who you are i'm picking up on a lot of energy of people who underestimated you did you wrong betrayed you lied to you um thought you were like 
just not smart or whatever it is like somebody people have no choice but to see that now it's undeniable okay the earth signs had um this energy in their weekly energy so you could strongly have earth in your chart especially with all of the pentacles that are showing up here what else spirit divine guardian do not be nervous today or tonight the path you are on will lead you just right y'all are protected that's that security card that came out you are protected okay three of cups at the bottom a toast to friendship and afternoon sun three cups of happiness three cheers are done celebration is near it's up anything goes at this point and i feel like you guys are definitely on top of the wheel one more message spear for the collective to end out this message intuition simple complex words of pain or words that heal you come to know the truth by the way that it feels definitely truth i feel like your intuition is being confirmed today okay or soon after this reading something that your intuition was trying to warn you about have your intuition has been guiding you to move out of a situation or maneuver okay how to do things in a particular situation of your life is being confirmed today you're getting the confirmation it says a note on love seek different seasons and enter into the unknown when love is the focus foundation and goal blessed is the money by blessed is the body mind and soul okay a note on love i feel like y'all learned the lesson here i feel like you poured into yourself you chose yourself and the reward is definitely showing up so leave me a comment below letting me know how this resonates for you don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys next time